Hey guys, it's Skylar from NYC Dining and you are watching Skylar's Foodie Finds. Today we are here at Tompkins Square Bagels in the East Village. They're known for their extensive hand-rolled bagels and their crazy cream cheeses. So we're gonna go check it out, make some, try some. Follow me. So you can see here, there are so many items on the menu. You have pastries and sweets bagels, some original flavors. They're all hand rolled and made downstairs. And then there are sandwiches. You've got your smoked fish, your cream cheeses. Look at all those flavors. So many things, specialty sandwiches. I'm gonna meet my friend, the assistant manager. His name is Garrett, hey. hey. Good Welcome. to see you again, how are you? Um, Good, how are you? So, I'm just so excited to be here. I've tried the birthday cake cream uh -huh. cheese before, your craziest flavor. Yeah. But tell me about all these cream cheeses we've got. Well, we try to be very unique here uh, and be very creative as much as we can. Uh, we have our berry berry cream cheese, which is like uh, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, as well as strawberries. Ooh. Uh, it's a nice uh, combination. Yeah, like uh, berries. Yeah, as well as a uh, chocolate raspberry right over here. Oh, that's You take different. a look, you can't really see the chocolate, it's down in there as well. So there's chocolate in there? Yes, there is. Is it yeah, bottom mixed in. or something? It is, it is mixed in. Oh. Uh, but we also have something a little more savory, if you like that as well. We can go with our Jonas cream cheese. This is very popular, the one right there. Uh, avocados, onions, and jalapenos. So if you oh like, my goodness. If you like spicy, that's definitely a good option Oh, that to go sounds for. so good. As well as bacon scallion. That's also oh, very popular. Both of those together are yeah. like an everything bagel? Oh, yeah. wow. So what else do you have? Anything... What else is in here? What's this one here? This is a uh, tofu lox spread. Oh. So as well as cream cheese, we also have a really wide range of tofu that we do, uh, which is pretty unique to our location. We have about eight flavors in total right now. We don't have them all out, but I do have uh, spinach artichoke, olive pimento, lox spread, sun-dried tomato. Uh, Amazing. Yep. Well, I'm so excited to try some. I know we're going to make some bagels back there, yeah, or at least absolutely. dress them up a little bit. Yeah. So why don't we go on back? Yeah, come on back. Cool. Well, Skylar, back here is where we hand roll all of our bagels. Oh my gosh. We have uh, the dough hand rolled downstairs pretty much every other day by a uh, special uh, guy it who comes so in. It's gooey. a special technique that's used here. Yeah. And uh, that's one of the things that's unique about the ones here is the fact that they're hand rolled. Right downstairs, yeah. too. So, Absolutely. what do you do after this part? After they're hand rolled, they're brought upstairs, them? and we use this uh, kettle right here to boil them until they rise, until they're ready to bake. And how long does that take? Uh, it usually takes about 10 minutes or so, I believe. Oh, are they going to do it now? Yeah, we can put them in. Let me show you guys how it's done. Yep. Oh my gosh. And how, so the, how long does that take for them to get ready? Roughly about 10 minutes or oh, so. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Yep, so all around. the different flavors go in there. Yes, uh, what we do is we have two base flavors. We have the regular wheat, Mm -hmm. uh, the whole wheat, and then also the regular white flour. Okay. So those are two kinds, and then we base all of our seeds. So once they're done uh, being kettle boiled, we'll dip them in our seeds. So for instance, these are onion. So oh. we'll uh, dip them in our onion. That's onion? Yep, and okay. then we'll put them on these uh, plaques of wood here. Okay. And then that's when they'll go into the oven to be baked. So what about like the French toast bagel or like a cinnamon raisin? That's a different kind of dough though, right? Yes, yes. The okay. French toast and the cinnamon raisin are different. Uh, French toast is unique. Uh, because we also use egg and like brown sugar and stuff like that to uh, really enhance the flavor on those. Oh, this is so cool. So what's happening to them right now? Right now they're being prepared to be uh, seeded. So we're light laying them out in the plaques that they're going to oh. actually bake on. Yeah. I would love would you... to try and seed one of these. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. What you... should we make? Why don't we make an everything bagel? Yeah, everything bagel. If I it's could. been my dream to seed an everything bagel for a very long time. This is true. This is a big moment for me. So excited. So you keep all the seeds down there. Okay. <laughs> it looks like we don't have our everything seeds I can do seeds onion. Second Absolutely. dream. Let's do onion. What about sesame? How does sesame. That work? Okay, sesame great. for the win. Third all right. Dream. So Joel, why don't you go ahead and show her how to do yeah, one? Yeah. How do we do this? Oh, I just pop it on in. Run flip and put back. Can on. I grab it and do it? Yeah. Absolutely. Go for it. Great. Oh, they're so squishy. Ooh. Like that? I want to get the edges, too. Yeah. Like lots like of sesame. Awesome. Cool. Should I do one more? 
Oh, wow. So you do this with all the other seeds, like yep. poppy seeds, sesame, onion. All of them, absolutely. Wow. After that, Ooh. they go into the oven, and then they're ready to go. And then they're ready to go. Yeah. Oh, that's a big oven. I would not mm -hmm. want to yeah. go in there. You want to come take a look at our uh, French toast? Sure, and I'd love to take a look here. at these. Oh, wow. Look what happens. What are we doing here? This is uh, Jonas. He's hey, really, Jonas. How are you? Really the genius behind a lot of our uh, cream cheese flavors. You're a genius. He uh, makes a lot, of, a lot of the different flavors that we have here. So I know this is birthday cake, yeah, right? Yeah. Yep. And you want it? What else do we have here? We also have uh, the chocolate Georgia. chip cookie dough. Okay. And uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Well, yeah. Ooh, okay, amazing. I guess we'll start with the French toast birthday cake cream cheese. Absolutely. Here, let me grab some gloves. Yeah, I need some gloves, I feel. Sanitary yeah, yeah. sprinkles is key. Do we have any yeah, extra yeah. sprinkles? Oh. So is this like the final stage of how you make the birthday cake cream cheese? You just sprinkle some rainbow Some extra magic on there. Yeah. Some extra magic with some <laughs> rainbows and butterflies and unicorns. And you just mix it on in? Yep, yeah, that's great. Looks good. So you make all your cream cheeses in-house, is that what happens? Yes, uh, Jonas here uh, mixes everything by hand downstairs, uh, especially the specialty cream cheeses. All oh. of those are mixed by hand. Oh, that's so exciting. Who comes up with the flavors? Can Jonas. I put it on here? <laughs> yeah. Jonas, you come up with the flavors? Yes, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. That's awesome. Well, kudos for the birthday cake cream cheese. It's like the most famous cream cheese in the United States of America right now. How do you feel? Good? Good, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Is, am I doing it right? Yes, you're doing it right. Doing it right? Put some sprinkles. Yeah, I think we should dress it up a little bit. Why don't you sprinkle a little bit on there? And I'm going to do the other side. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah, that looks great. Just like that. Just like that. Yeah. I guess we have another one, but... Awesome. We can... That's great. And then we we'll, we'll serve it like that. I know why our New York bagel is the best. Yeah, why are New York bagels the Well, the thing, uh, there's a lot of, uh, actually, a lot of different theories about that. But um, one of the things about New York bagels is the water, too, and the process of how they're made. I have heard that yeah. before, actually. So yeah. what is the water that makes them so It's when moist it's mixed in with the dough, it helps it rise properly, I wow. believe. I, I'm not sure the exact reason, but I know it's unique to New York. Yeah, I've heard like New York, Montreal, top yep. two. Yeah. yeah, top two. All right. Well, this. Oh, can I take a? Can I try Absolutely. this? Absolutely, take a bite. Oh, okay. So we got the French toast. Okay. All right, going right in there. It's like dessert. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It literally tastes like cake. It's almost not even a bagel anymore. <laughs> mm. What's in the French toast bagel? Uh, brown sugar, egg. Uh, as well as some other sweetening ingredients. Brown, sugar, egg, and sweetening oh, yeah, with birthday cake cream cheese. That's like the best combination ever. Amazing. Let's try the cookie the dough. chocolate chip, absolutely. It's it's a, that's not enough sugar for me. So how do I, can I try and slice a bagel? How do yes. I do this? Sure. What's the proper technique? Is there okay, like so a... Okay, you, no, you put your bagel down, then you... You and then you hand on, uh, you hold the bagel. Make sure your fingers top. are clear. They're straight fingers up. Fingers are in the clear. Okay, wait, let's see. It's harder than it looks. Yep, go about halfway through, then flip it straight up. Flip like it straight up? Yep. You keep your this knife is a very important lesson, everyone. There you go. Everyone, and pay just attention. Flip it up like this, and you can grab it on top. Oh, oops. You grab it on top. That's okay. Yeah. There you go, then just, just finish, straight? finish all the way through. Oh, yeah. Give it a nice saw, and nice it'll come saw. right through. Nice saw. I messed up. I tend to see daisies. No problem. It's okay. Can't win them all. Okay, so this is cookie dough. Chocolate chip cookie with dough, With yes. syrup on it? Yes. Here, come show me. Okay, how do I properly do this here? Okay. You want to do one half and, or, uh, yeah. You have this bagel here as well. Do we have another spoon by any chance? Yeah, absolutely. So you like to put that drizzle in there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the best part. Yeah. Are there any cookie dough bits actually in this? That is the question. Is there cookie dough in here? Yes, it is. Yes. Wow. Uh, I can't imagine eating this for breakfast every day, but... Yeah. So how many flavors do you have, and how many are sweet like this? Well, we, we have a very large number. I'm not sure of the exact number, but I know it's roughly about 20 different flavors of cream cheese. 20 different flavors? Um, that includes your standard, like veggie, scallion, um, 
as the ones well, you showed me. Yeah, yeah. As, as well as our, our specialty ones. We have a, a good mix between sweet and savory when it comes to uh, specialty cream cheese. People want to know, are there healthy options? <laughs> yeah, this cookie dough one, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> anything healthy? No, absolutely. We have uh, tofu that we do. Uh, we do, uh, as well as veggie, we actually do deli sandwiches called the Anna, which is like uh, seared uh, squash, zucchini, oh. yeah, some eggplant and on there as well. you can get them well. scooped out. Yeah, just absolutely. Just the and, the carbs. Yeah. And then I'm just standing here with a fully filled bagel with chocolate chip cookie dough cream cheese. I'm going to eat it. Is yeah, that okay? go for it. Yeah. Take a bite. Yeah, I'll let you know. Mm. That's so good. I'm Jonas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for this. This is my best day. Wow. Oh, I love this. I had that before, so I wasn't surprised with this. Oh, my. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's some good stuff. What are your hours? Are you open 24-7? No, no. We're open from 7 to 8. And then weekends, 7 to 6. Earlier, yeah. no, you usually open later. So we're I'm so busy, this. though. I, we are so busy. Yeah, they're so busy. All right. Okay. What else? Next. Pumpkin. Cream cheese. Pumpkin cream cheese. Yes. Whoa! So you made this too? Yeah. So what goes into the pumpkin cream cheese? Should we try and do this together? Is it just pumpkin and? Pumpkin, some uh, cinnamon. Okay. Uh, nutmeg. Okay. Cool. Uh, sugar. Sugar and lots and of sugar. Honey. And honey. That's a good touch. All right, mm -hmm. so should we try and do this again? I want to give Absolutely. us a second whirl. Do you want to cut one of these two? Hey, you go, guys. Oh, yeah. So uh, you start here. Hey, you go, guys. Uh Oh, well, I'm uneven a little bit, but there we go. Yep. A little bit better. Perfect. Oh, look how doughy those are. I, I thought this would be a good flavor combination with the cinnamon. No, definitely. definitely I'm excited is. to yeah. try this. Is there a spoon we can... Absolutely. So I can spoon some cream cheese. Look at that flavor. Hey, yo. It's so pumpkin spice. We're waiting hey, for Jonas to get a spoon. Oh, you have one too. Here, you can do it. Come on, Jonas. Let's, okay. let's spoon this cream cheese together. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I can see the pumpkin swirls. Look at that, the pumpkin puree in there. Wow. Is this like the average serving of cream cheese? Yeah, absolutely. So you guys load it on there. No yeah. shame. No shame. Never be ashamed of your cream cheese intake. Is this like a special tool for cream cheesing? Cream I, cheesing is a verb. I, I believe so. So um, this... It's just, it's just standard, yeah, it's standard spreader. It's just a uh, way to evenly spread on the cream cheese there and not uh, get too much stuck on the spoon. Either. I need a cream cheese appliance, and this is it. So I will keep that in mind. There you go. Amazing. I'm going to try this one now. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Pumpkin spice. Yay. Mmm. Jonas, you've done it again. It's like pumpkin cheesecake on here. Literally like a pumpkin cheesecake. Which one's your favorite, Jonas? Uh, birthday. Oh, I birthday? Still love them. Every day's well, birthday. Yeah, yeah. Every day's <laughs> party. Amazing. Um, so these are all sweet. And uh -huh. I know you guys have some savory stuff. I saw a pizza bagel on that menu. Yes, yes, we do. Have pizza Is there bagel any bagel. way to try that? Did we make a pizza bagel? Yes. We did? Yes. Where's yes. that? I can't make over there. Why don't we go try that? I'm going to take one more bite of this. I'm going to take all these to go with me, by the way. So, pizza bagel. Okay. Do you want me to use the aluminum foil or not? Should we make it over here? Why don't we bring the things over here and make it over here? Y la tabla es aquí. So we're putting... Yeah, and the unique thing about this oven, too, that gives our bagels uh, that, that flavor is this is actually a very It's a little heavy-duty for an oven. Yeah, it's an old-style oven. It's called a Cutler oven. Um, there aren't too many left. They don't make them anymore. They, I mean, they're really intense. Yeah. I can go in there and hang out. Yeah. Uh, and the way that it rotates, it allows the bagel to be evenly heated. Okay. Which also gives that, that crusty outside that you feel, as well as the, the chewy inside, which really 
is what makes uh, a New York bagel a New York so bagel. So does it apply heat differently? No, so the way it rotates, it allows for everything rotation. to cook evenly. Okay. okay. I'm taking these gloves off. Yeah. All right, I think we're going to go make a pizza bagel. I think we are going to do that. We're waiting on the pizza bagel. Here we go. Maybe I can get a cookie dough while we wait. That cookie dough cream cheese is so good. Yep. Oh it's my like goodness. one of my top favorites as well. I had no idea how cookie doughy it would taste. I thought it would just taste chocolatey. And we're back. So, whoa, what is this? Are. Is this actually a bagel? Yes, it's the uh, bagel dough that's been flattened. And, uh, oh, that was most certainly flattened. Yep. Yeah. Wow. All right, Jonas, show me where the money is. Let's do this. Yeah, so do I just pile this sauce on here? Yes. This is a flattened bagel. How do you flatten it like this? What happens? Do you just flatten it with your bare hands? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. yes. And then you spoon some sauce. You can put more sauce. More? How much yes. do it how much do you think? Uh should I spread I it out more? Yes, yeah, spread more. More? Yeah. Alright, like this? Good. Is that good? Yeah, that's okay. That's good? You want to put more sauce? No, anything more? Okay. Sure. See, I didn't do it enough. I didn't do it enough. How's this look? That looks great. Great? So awesome. should I sprinkle some cheese? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Go for it. It's all right. All right. All right. Yeah, Tell no me how much. There. I love lots of cheese, so I'm going to go to town. If you want to stop me, feel free. Yeah, that, that looks great. I'm going to do a little more. Maybe a touch more. Just awesome. a little teeny bit more. Okay, that's, yeah, great. that's great. Awesome. I think I want to spread that out. Okay, and then do you put pepperoni or anything on there? You just uh, pop it no, on we do. We do have uh, some meat that we put on here, but standard yeah. it's just cheese. Yeah, yeah we can just cheese bagel. Melt that. We, we thought a pizza bagel was pretty extreme by itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, pizza bagel, two New York things in one. Awesome. We go ahead and pop this in the oven here. There you go. Give that just a couple minutes. We'll be ready to go. We'll wait for that, which won't be ready for a little bit, so I'm going to eat that later. But, you know, I was thinking, I Instagram, and I want to take an Instagram stack picture. Do you guys cut these like this? Yeah. Can we uh, cut it like that? Yeah. Yeah, let me show you how, how to do, do that. How do we do that? So we don't make too big of a mess here. Jonas, you mind yeah, passing you me one that? wax paper, please? Awesome. Okay. What we'll do here, just wrap it up like this. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let's, oh, let's just cut it in half. I'm trying to take the best Instagram photo anyone's ever seen. This okay. is the mission. No problem. Because this is my job. My career is so serious. I need this. This it's is a little important. messy there, but no problem. Oh, no, people love messy. That's tip number one for good Instagrammers, messy bagel cream cheese. All right, let's cut this one. Let's stack that. Want to cut that for me? And then I'm going to cut the the birthday cake one, and I'm going to get ready. And you guys are going to be in this with me, and we're going to do like an Ellen DeGeneres kind of selfie, and it'll be really cool. All right, let's see. Let's get this. All right. You need another hand there. Oh, no, I've learned how to extend the thumb. That's another technique. Listen, it's very important. All right, we'll stack it. Should we cut that real quick, and then we'll take a selfie, and then I'll wait for my pizza bagel. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. All right, guys, get in here with me. We're going to smile at these bagels. It's the extended thumb. I tell you, it's very important. All right, guys, ready? Jonas, get in here. Get in here. Hold that bagel nice and high. One, two, three. Cheese! Yay! Amazing! I can't wait to try these again and then eat that pizza. But we are out of time, so thank you guys so much for watching Scholar Sweetie Finds. I'll see you guys next week on Thursday, and I'll be eating something else really amazing for my health. Have a good day. Mm.